Hello, my name is Matt. I uh, am a fisherman. I've been fishing since I was three. I used to be a professional guide up in Alaska. And outside of fishing, my main hobby is thrift shopping for clothes and housewares and everything that a person needs. And I feel like I've gotten pretty good at it and I feel like uh, the middle of that Venn diagram between fishing and thrifting is kind of an unexplored territory. And in my opinion, from my experience as a guide and fishing, fishing is an industry um, that is full of gouge price equipment and uh, most of the stuff, especially the top dollar stuff, um, just suffers pretty bad from the law of diminishing returns. Um, you don't need that much to go fishing and if you get good at thrifting, you can find a lot of the top shelf stuff that you would buy um, for a fishing trip anyway at you know, high gouge prices. The disclaimer being you can't get any actual fishing tackle at a thrift store. You can, but usually they're rods that are rusted out or missing guides or just in terrible, terrible condition. I don't know why that is, just nobody donates fishing rods that aren't already destroyed. So anyway, I just, uh, the past three days, I had like an awesome thrifting spree, uh, thrifts and garage sales and stuff, and I got a ton of stuff um, that I, I want to show to you as an example of, of uh, the kind of stuff that you can find. So first item is um, this backpack. This is a, uh, a Speedo Teamster backpack. And uh, the backpack I was using for fishing before was uh, the same backpack I had in middle school and it was all cruddy and beat up. And this is great. I mean, this is formatted almost completely ideally for fishing. It's got kind of a rectangular main compartment for fitting um, storage, those long storage uh, tackle boxes in, and a bunch of pockets, and um, really high quality kind of ergonomic straps and all that. And this retails for 69 bucks, got it for $6. That was a good find. Um, let's see, this hat that I'm wearing, Carhartt beanie, those are 10 bucks new. I got this for, I think, 50 cents or a dollar. Um, got these three days ago, took them fishing and they worked great. These are white Sierra convertible hiking pants. These are the kind that you can unzip the leg and it turns into a pair of shorts and these are vented and I think they might have some kind of SPF value, I'm not sure. Anyway, these were $4.70 at the thrift and $37 new on Amazon. Um, similarly, today I just got back from a thrifting trip and I got this pair of REI hiking pants that I think are probably a lot better than the pair I just showed you. And these were five bucks at the thrift and let's see, those are $65 new. So these are women's pants. I'm a small guy, I'm only 5'8", I weigh 160. So I have a lot of trouble finding pants uh, that fit me in general, especially when I'm thrifting. So on a whim, I went to the women's section and usually um, that pays off. I mean, I've found, well, for one thing, Goodwill especially, I don't know why Goodwill more than the other thrift stores that I've been to do this, but thrift stores will put men's pants in the smaller size ranges in the women's section anyway, especially jeans. So if you're in like the 28 to 34 size waist area, um, you should actually start browsing in the women's pants because the majority of the men's pants in your size will be misshelved in the women's section. These are properly women's pants and usually that's a problem because women's pants have really shallow pockets which limits their functionality. But these, the pockets are just as deep as uh, men's pants typically are. And these are um, really high quality. I didn't find any damage to them, no stains at all, which is unusual. Usually when something this good ends up at a thrift store, there is a reason for it. But um, these are a women's size eight. They have a UPF value of 30 plus. No, um, 
convertibility function, which would be good. But they have a cargo pocket, and they also roll up and button up. I don't know that that will be terribly useful, but fit me absolutely perfectly and just really, really high quality. Five bucks. This is one of my better finds ever. Um, took me forever to find one of these. This is a fishing shirt that more or less fits me. It's a little bit big, but that's okay. It's more comfortable that way. Anyway, it's a Field and Stream um, shirt. Got it for six bucks. These retail for 30 new. And um, it's just extraordinarily comfortable, airy, and uh, I think there's some venting in it maybe. It's got some utility pockets. Um, these are really good for fly fishing, especially for me because I'm a total minimalist when it comes to fly fishing gear. Um, I carry my flies in these little dollar store canisters. I don't use the big fly boxes. I think they're pointless and I think that they actually damage your flies. They rust the hooks, especially the foam ones. And when you put the flies in to the foam, it ends up smashing down all the material on the bottom of the fly. So if you're fishing woolly buggers or anything like that, or dry flies, it can end up messing up the fly. So those are better in my opinion. And um, I'll just carry a little spool of tippet and some clippers or whatever. And these shirts are more than adequate in terms of storage to, to handle all that. Six bucks, good find. Um, I got this cornball ass uh, Hawaiian shirt on a whim just because it fit me and I kind of always secretly wanted one. I couldn't find that online. I have no idea how much that retails for. I got a Columbia fishing hat with a popper on it. Um, that was, let me see, a buck fifty. Got it for a buck fifty at the thrift, and these retail for twenty-five bucks. Not bad. Similarly, I got um, this hat, which is a uh, Cryptek Highlander hat that has some super advanced NASA technology venting. Quick wick, quick cool, quick dry. Whatever. I don't know what DSC stands for, but it's got an American flag on the side. It's got this weird uh, high-tech Velcro, and it fits my head well, which is uh, unusual because I have a giant head. Because I'm so smart. And uh, good hat. This is a, not typically my style, but this is a really uh, clearly high-quality fishing hat. Take a bass fishing or something. Um, okay, I got this book for a buck today. The Angler's Bible California Fishing. I live in San Diego. This is very relevant. Uh, this was a dollar and cover price is 21 bucks. Got this a couple days ago at a different thrift store for 50 cents. Saltwater Fishing in California. Um, just full of good info. 15 bucks new. And my two grail pieces my two absolute best finds in terms of stuff I found for fishing at a thrift store. This hoodie, uh, Alaska Ship Supply, Dutch Harbor, um, that's not the relevant part. The relevant part is who made it. This is a Grundens hoodie. And anybody that knows fishing, commercial fishing, or fishing in the Northwest um, is familiar with Grundens. They make the full body rain slickers that most commercial fishermen wear that are just uh, absolutely invincible to the elements. And um, it's a heavy, heavy duty uh, hoodie. Extremely warm, extremely comfortable, fits me perfectly. It just has a really great texture on the inside, really fine. And it has this internal zipper pocket, which is I think for keeping your cell phone in or something. I don't know exactly what that is, but just an absolutely ideal, perfect fishing hoodie. Got it for five bucks. This, uh, I don't know exactly what make and model this hoodie is, but most of the Grundens hoodies online are 55 bucks new. So this was a, a total win. And um, I got these two days ago. Admittedly, slightly cruddy, used. Uh, the treads are a little worn down. But these are let me see if I can find Right, these are the Solomon Men's XA Pro GTX Hiking Boots. So the equivalent model in hiking or, or shoes, they have a trail running shoe in this line that is apparently one of the Hallmark uh, 
models of trail running shoe. I don't know anything about trail running, but this is the um, the, the high top hiking boot version um, that I got for six bucks, and they don't sell these anymore. But the hiking shoe retails for 180 bucks in this size, so I'm assuming that it was at least that price or more. Um, don't have any insoles in them. I'm gonna have to clean them up and put new insoles in them. But um, Total Steel fit me like a glove. And previously I was uh, doing all my fishing in an old pair of sneakers that just had no traction on the sole at all and I was slipping around on the rocks and stuff. So this is gonna be a total upgrade. This is a total uh, total value piece. So, I mean, so a lot of this stuff is secondhand. Some of it's a little bit scuzzy, especially those shoes. Um, but you know what, I paid anywhere from half price to, I don't know, like 1 50th the retail price for a lot of stuff that was really good. Um, and frustratingly, um, you know, these, these kind of top tier outdoor clothing brands like REI or um, North Face or Marmot or Columbia, on and on and on, I find pieces by them every time I look in a thrift store and usually they're in the larger sizes so if you're a men's large or an XL or an XXL then you probably won't have that difficult a time finding that kind of stuff but it's more common than you would think and most of it's in pretty good condition and you just have to look for it so um, if you want to upgrade your your um, your kit of fishing gear that's not actual fishing gear then I would absolutely recommend going thrifting as your first line of uh, defense, as it were. So, uh, hope that serves as some kind of inspiration or point in the right direction. Thanks.